certainly appears as though we're gonna get the snow they told us we were gonna get. There's clearly not a lot that's gonna go today according to every weather channel out there. This is gonna go on all day long and it's it's been picking up quickly, hasn't it, Anna? Yeah, you can see everything's getting covered now. So about the only thing we can try here is running the ripper. We're gonna move this header trailer out of the way. Drop the speed tiller, because that is definitely not gonna work. And then we're gonna throw the ripper on the quad track and see what that thing does. And I'm gonna do my best to only point the camera towards the northeast, northwest, because all the snow is coming from that way, and I don't want to get snow all over your guys' TVs and cell phones. That'll do. Can't have snow on my Welker magnet. There's only a few of those in the world. This thing's got a hydraulic jack on it that I set down. That's kind of nice, you don't have to crank on the jack. And there's plenty of steel on this thing to be able to find a spot to set up your camera. To some farmers, that's important. I know the colors don't match. It's, uh, it looks a little Christmassy here, but this is what we have. This is our ripper. We're gonna pull this thing with the quad track and put it through the conditions and see what it does. These are gonna be challenging conditions for it, but if anything's gonna handle it, I think this quad track will not have a problem. The hope was to bring this thing up into the shed and hook everything up there, so Dad left me. He's gonna meet me up there, but I can't get those rear leveling jacks off unless I move this thing a little. So, that's in. I'll figure it out later. My hands are cold, my gloves are wet. It's not easy making video clips here. Or really doing anything. Also, my battery's flashing dead. Why wouldn't it? I've been using this camera for a half hour now and probably taken 10 clips. Making a cake. You're making a cake? An iPad cake? It looks delicious. Are you going to get a new cast? Yeah. Are you going to go with another pink one? Mm, I don't know. You don't know? You haven't decided? You're busy making an iPad cake. Do you get to eat it? No. No. Or Zach. Merry Christmas, Jim. Merry Christmas, you go. Checking the tires here. We don't think we're gonna have to grease this thing because it's only done about 100 acres. I bought this new over the winter and uh, just did a little bit this spring. So just make sure these gigantic super singles are good. And then we're gonna go to work. Good to go. Well, here's a problem we came across. If you guys watched this spring, we had to put new bearings in the leveling baskets on our field cultivator. We've got more of this plastic twine stuff wrapped around in the bearings of the leveling discs on the ripper now. And in some instances, barbed wire. Oh, I'm gonna need a bigger cutter than that. What'd you learn, Jim? Well, this, this will come out, but this stuff's all the way... It's melted all the way down in there? I don't know, do we dare keep driving this out or... What's on the backside? Well, that cap or whatever. It's kind of a sealed... I, I don't know. Oh yeah, just a cap. That's just a press in. And that's just a... Hub cap. That's just a... Hmm. It's not in the bearing yet. yet. But that's got a turn on there. That's got a turn? Well, this is solid and this it, has got a turn. It must have bearings. to because we couldn't spin it by hand yeah. and the bearings are clear. Yeah. Are you getting it all though? It looks like you are, it's, but it's melted it down inside there, isn't it? Down. It sure looks like it to me, Zach. So that's got to spin separate gotta from go, that evidently's gotta go off that way. Yep, I'm gonna say it does. <laughs> Yeah, is that melted it. in there? 
I would imagine it is. Looks like it. It's like a melted seal. Oh, that's grease. Is it? Yeah. All right. Stick her back in together. Blazing green grease they got in there. Ready? Yep. Alright, now we can put it together. Would you two get a room? Now she turns. So you know, you'd gonna... think after being around here, this I'll production get... studio for a yeah, while, you'd quit here. blocking the camera. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. Yeah. Go. She spins. You did? Well, now that we got them all, there's probably way too much snow to go do anything, huh? No. No? <laughs> let's, check, let's check the weather. It doesn't look real nice out here. Wow. All oh, the weather out here is... Not any nicer than it was when I brought the ripper into the shed. So we're gonna see, we've got an electrical plug on the back of that ripper that, that this tractor doesn't have. So I'm gonna find out if it communicates just fine. Um, probably not gonna be able to run the, the depth control. What's it called again, Sam? I wanna use it by the old term, but the depth control. There, I got a wiper that works, that's handy. Up and down, mainframe is correct. The blades are backwards. Number two is backwards. And number three is not moving. One thing I don't like on this tractor is that I can't open this back window to talk to those guys. I'm used to having the handle here. I can open the window, tell them what's going on, but I can't do that in this tractor. You can rev the tractor up and get three to respond, but there's no, no response on my leveling discs. Everything works but the back? Yeah, number three doesn't respond to anything. Number two is backwards, but it works fine. Number three just doesn't, won't wake up. Even when I put it in float, the rear levelers should sink. I know a tillage guy. I'm gonna give, give Sam a call. Okay, so the true set's not communicating with the valves, so there's a knob, it's the gold knob on the end of the solenoid. There. Yeah, and I felt the whole, I felt the whole leveling deal jump, so. That's what's doing it. Things get backed up once in a while, you know? I talked to tillage man Sam, big tall guy. He'll be out here yet this year, you guys will see him, but uh, he said that the true set depth on this thing isn't gonna work and the true set valves were not getting a communication from the computer to tell the rear levelers to move. And so what I had to do basically was shut those valves off and now we'll just have to run it mechanically. You know, like the, like the olden days. I'm pretty sure there are kits, computer kits that you can buy to plug into this device here, the device, and run a different screen on there to run your true set depth with this. If you, if you had a red tractor and you wanted to run a green ripper, I'm pretty sure, pretty confident you can get the two to work together. But for the few hours that we have this machine, we're just not gonna worry about that right now. We'll go, we'll go run it mechanically, but it's gonna take a little bit here just to set our depths on everything. And so I'm gonna run it to the depth, roughly, what I think we're gonna want. Then we'll go out and see what we need for stops. Because we got some in the toolbox on the frame. It is very much not lovely out here. Uh, why don't you set your depth up here? Well, that's, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's got that. Yeah, got the crane. Geez, I, you run true set for a year and you forget about that. Yeah, oh, yeah. We'll have to put spacers in the discs up there. On the oh, arm, right? Probably. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, I suppose, yeah. I would yeah, think. Will. Yeah. yeah, they had her set. <laughs> well, they had it set so the true set could do its thing, I suppose. I imagine that's it, yeah. It is so miserable out there. Oh, my hands are cold. I'd say the discs can come up for sure. Discs can come up for sure. We'll have to check the shanks. If we raise the shanks, the discs will come right up with it. Yeah, if you kick that shank, kick the dirt away a little bit, and then kind of mark where the dirt was at, and I'll raise it up, we can see how deep it was. Yeah, you're good. Oh, yeah, to, she's uh, she's her better deep. Yeah, she's plenty deep. Yeah. No, they were deep, but if we bring the frame up, yeah, that'll yeah. raise them too. All right, we'll see what it's doing now. Definitely pulling a little easier. Uh-oh. 
I'm gonna have to figure out how to set my auto steer for a much narrower path and defrost the windows, get that moving. I have so much to learn. This looks like all tractor measurements. Uh, let's see. Uh, that's gonna be the automatic turn, I believe. Yep. Yep. Vehicle, oh, implement, okay, got it. Now when I add the implement make, it's got New Holland, CNH, Case, Wheel Rich, but there isn't an option for gear. I've got to make a new one there, huh? <laughs> should be about the same, shouldn't it? Should be pretty close, yeah, that's what, two and a half? Yeah, I think so. Well, my camera actually quit on me, but I did about 30 acres out there, and I'm back at the yard now because we're right next to the shop. I got dad coming to run the tractor for a bit. I'm gonna kind of show him how this quad track works, but it's getting awfully hard to see out there. Honestly, if it does this the rest of the day, there's no doubt we're gonna have to pick up, pick up, hook up the snowblower. Look at that. Wow. Didge is an Australian, so she's, she's not a fan of the snow. She likes to hide in the shop. The nicest harvest weather we've ever had suddenly changed to this. We'll go out and see if this will work. I'm waiting for dad here. He's gonna hop out with me, but hop in with me, I guess. And I'll walk him through the ins and outs of the quad track. It's been a long time since he's driven a red tractor. I do like their seats. If you grab the wheel, I don't like when it's sitting still. You know, an RT won't move on you. This will flinch back and forth if you bump it when someone's on the ladder. My leg's in your way. No, I'm in your leg's way. There. So, the pedal is your fine adjustment in this one. Oh, okay. And then it clamps and unclamps here for other adjustments. Okay. So it's a little backwards compared to what we're used to. Mm. What about a throttle? Right here. That whole thing. Oh, and this okay. is the shifter actually, not this. Okay. Just like the hydro on the combine, is it? Pretty much. Right. Or like a Except big, big ILS kind of. Just shift up and down for that? Yep. And then your gears are here, the blue number. Okay. I kind of like that screen. I do like that screen a lot. Wow, I can't even see where the road is here. Uh-uh. No, it's... you can't see much. We've decided to try and get a little more action out of these front disc blades. Right now they're moving more snow than anything, but I don't even know how long we'll stay out here. I'm trying to keep snow off the lens. Up. All right. Now, now he needs to, there we go. Let's see, I'll take this, I'll take this one out. We're doing a little more. A little better, I think. Yeah, it's easier to see when you look at the wheel tracks. He just finished telling me he likes the tractor. I do like it, yes, I do. I didn't get it on camera the first time, but he did. He said that. <laughs> there he goes, all grown up. And I gotta go get Onyx for hockey practice, which means I gotta shovel my truck out. That's a solid amount of snow. I gotta go grab Onyx from school so he can get to hockey practice on time, so dad's gonna be out there in the lonely winter abyss. Abyss, is that right? Did I use that word right? I don't know, but he's out there working. I gotta go get Onyx. Definition of abyss. A deep or seemingly bottomless chasm. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go with that. I'm really wondering if we should be out here because we're not doing a very good job. We probably shouldn't be out there then. Yeah, I don't know if it's, the head's got long stalks and that's why, or if it's the snow and we got mud on top? It's probably a combination. Those those disc blades are going through some awfully deep snow. <laughs> they are, it's crazy. And we, we yeah. gotta run them on that stuff. We do, that's for sure, we have to run them. Yeah. Yeah, but the forecast just doesn't sound good. It doesn't, but is no job better than better than a bad job? I mean, I know how the I old know. saying goes, but the, yeah, the Mineco, I'm not sure anymore. 
the Mendeco would do a nice job in the spring if we've got it around. It, yeah, if we have a spring like last spring. Yeah, that's you know, if it's dry. Yeah. If it's pushing big chunks like that, and it's hard to tell when it's doing it, and we're digging the mud like that, I think, I think we're doing more damage than good. We might be. So I might. I'll probably just bring it home after this round. Yeah. I'll finish this round. It's kind of fun running it, but the other thing, the snow might settle. Well, a couple of things might happen so it goes better. The snow will settle so we have less snow, even if it is cold. Yeah. But the other thing, maybe the top half inch or inch, will, the ground will get cold and freeze, and that'll help too, maybe. Then it'll go really good. It might, yeah. I The snow will settle even if it doesn't get above freezing. Oh, definitely, yeah. Yeah. So. Is the tractor okay. showing a lot of slippage, or what's it saying for slip percentage? Uh, it's, well, it's eight percent right now. Oh, that's quite a bit. Yeah. I don't. I don't think. 10, uh, I don't think our ninety-six thirty back in the day with the eight hundred metrics. I think it'd be worse than that. You think it would be? I do. I think so. You know, that slipped a lot in the spring, just on slimy ground, and it was weighted down and. We didn't like that because you could see the compaction lines. That's why we switched to tracks. Yeah, you could see the compaction. I definitely didn't like it like a Paca Lake in the hills. It wasn't good. No, it wasn't. Too much weight on it. Yeah, yep. We got a fair amount of, fair amount of snow here. And it's only October. Dad parked the quad track. Okay, should we see? Should we see if we can do some smoky burnouts here? <laughs> The snow, the snow, the There's snow. too much, too much snow. No, it's working, it's working. Okay. She's working. Okay, 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 let's go, Dad. A little too much, little too much snow. We need more ice. Don't hit the ranger, don't hit the ranger. Oh, that was weird, the truck slipped. What'd you think of that, Rihanna? Oh, She's used coming. to it. Where? Oh, I can't get there. We go. <laughs> Snow's too deep. God darn it. Okay, let's go up to the, the house now. Okay. Ah, we need we need the snow to pack down a little more. It's still a little too deep. Well, the fields got too slimy. Dad pulled it in. I parked everything here. This is gonna be it. That's uh, that's a day for us. <laughs> There's really only a couple options for what a guy can do on a day like this. I mean, I could go in the house and pay some bills and catch up on some office work, or I could go for a rip. <laughs> 